Hello everyone, and um, it's been far too long since I made a video um, with any kind of commentary in it or anything like that. Um, several reasons for that, I won't talk about it in this video, maybe next time or something, but i got a lot to cover. Um, basically what I'm doing right now is doing a video tutorial guide on how to play UCGO, and this one will be just how to get started. Um, Universal Century Gundam Online is what UCGO stands for, yep. I'm a nerd. I don't care. Um, so after you download the client and patch it to play on the private server, because they don't play this game anymore legit. So, um, and as far as I know, the company that made it dims, they don't have a problem with the, the private server thing, but <sighs> whatever. Um, so, I mean, they haven't shut this one down. This one's been going for like a year or so. Um, so after you start it up, you just click on it and go accept, and then you... You start out here, you make a login name and password. There's no, like, password for, you know, forget my password thing, how do I recover it. There's no password recovery or anything like that. So you need to remember what you make your account name. Um, for me, I'm just going to do Therian. I'm sure that's not taken. And then I'll just do a password. Um, but, yeah, um, capital letters count. So I have capital L there, so I'll have to do it every time, otherwise I would make a new account if I did that. Um, but anyways, so we'll go to login, we'll create a character, um, we'll do Earth Federation just because it's simple. And, uh, yeah, we'll do Ethereum as a name, they got some standard color options, like, you know, dark skinned Asian guy, normal, like, normal skin color, and then really white Asian guy. Um, and they got some hair colors, brown, black, blonde, anyways, and then they got like four faces, and then they got some hair colors. Most of the hair is awful, and uh, both, both sexes have the same hairstyles, so, you know, I mean like, this one, it's clearly a woman's hairstyle, but well, you can put it on your man, which is weird, but whatever. We're gonna do this color and stuff, because it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, now that that's out of the way, we'll do parameters, which is like your, your basic stats. Um, you can have 170 points in one, or you can split it amongst, you know, several. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do 45 strength. There we go. I was about to, like, flip shit and, like, get angry. But, yeah, um... Something. Okay, we'll do 50, 60, 60. Uh, strength determines how much damage you do. Spirits like hit and luck. Or not, not hit and luck. Uh, hit and critical strike thing. And then luck is dodge and defense and stuff like that. So that's why we put more in those. Um, for Earth Federation, Sydney is like the major city. Um, I've never been to Canberra, so I, can't, I don't really know what's all there. Southern Cross has Southern Cross and, and Perth are about the same. Um, with like, there, there's quite a few crafters there, and you know a couple of players to hang around there. Perth has the spaceport to go into space. We'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, we'll start Sydney. It's a major, major city with all the uh, a lot of the uh, English players will hang out there, and uh, yeah, and I think that's technically the safest city because. You know, the most Federation players hang out there, but yeah. So, we start out here, um, like if you were starting out, I think you wouldn't have anything on the screen. You would just have this, this bar up here. I don't even know if it'd be in the middle for you, it might be over here or something, but yeah. So, you want to start out, you want to click journal and move it down here to the right or wherever you prefer. This is like your chat log, your skill ups and stuff like that. And another thing you'll want to put down eventually is like your container, or your backpack. Um, I'll explain those in a minute. But when you start out, um, you want to hit enter and then slash taxi like that at the bottom. And since you don't have any money on the screen or on the character at the start, it'll ask you like two questions instead of the normal one. But once you get the money out, it'll only ask you one. Um. When I started out, I didn't know how to do that, so just just remember, if you don't have a vehicle, 
in the city. Taxi works. I mean, if you were even in the opposing faction city, you could taxi there, so, you know, nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, you want to go here, and, I mean, I suppose if you didn't know what you were doing, you would open up your map. Uh, I'm just going to make it small, but you open up your map up there to find out where to go, but since I know where to go, I'm just going to go. Basically, I just get on the road and then go this way. And there's the hangar, and there's the bank in the background, the big, tall, black building with, like, a bunch of windows on it or something. But yeah, um, you're probably gonna see a bunch of players on the way, there's a guy in a hover truck, that's weird. And then you'll see some guys in, like, some regular trucks. And those are most likely crafters. Or people running around to sell stuff from their bank. But yeah, and then you'll see, you know, the occasional player standing around doing nothing. Alright, once you get over to the bank, you want to open up your backpack and put it like, I don't know, I like to put mine down there. And then when you get close to the bank, you double click on it. You, so it's, it's the building you're looking for. Whenever I first started playing, um, I was Zeon and I was running around uh, Brisbane and like I found a, an NPC next to the, the bank and I was like, oh my god. I kept clicking on the NPC and kept bringing up like some some Japanese letters like this. I was just like, ah, why does it not work? Why can I not get in the bank? There's something wrong. But you double click on the building. You see you got uh, 199,350 in there. It's usually 200,000, but since we spent money to get a taxi, you know, that's what... Anyway, you want to click the money up here in the bank tab and then drag it down to the backpack tab and um, yeah and then you'll want to hit max and stuff like that but yeah so we're done in the bank now um, when you start out you get two of the lowest tier mobile suits you know for either faction for federation it's two trainer gems for Xeon it's two Zaku ones and uh, yeah so I mean I, get, I guess you could use those if you, if you wanted to but no, I'm, I'm not. So, I mean, they're in, they're in the hangar if you want to use them. But what I do is I come over here to the machine shop and sell those two starting ones. And then, you know, you have enough money to buy a decent one on Xeon. It's like the, the Zaku 2 FZ types or the, or, you know, you can get some of the elements. But you just go over here to the buy sell button, you click it, and then you go to hangar. You got TGM-79s in there, sell, okay, done with that. Okay, now you cannot buy a mobile suit while you are in a vehicle, so you need to get off. And then click on the shop again, and yeah, so the only two options really are the or GM-79 GM, which is like the standard GM grunt type mobile suit, and then the RGM-79L GM light armor. Um, the light armor is a better option. I don't think it looks as cool as the regular GM, but it's it's definitely the better option stat-wise. Um, I'll go into that later in combat. But you can close the backpack now. You don't need that. Container is what you want, because that, that'll have like your, your ammo and your toolkits and stuff like that. So you want to go over here to the weapon shop and purchase some weapons. So to start out with, you'll get beam spray gun, because beam weapons are awesome. Unless you don't want to use beam weapons at all, then you'll get like a GM rifle and like a hyper bazooka or something, but I'm gonna get a GM rifle to go with my beam spray gun. And we'll buy those two, and then we'll buy a couple shields. I mean, you, and the only real options here, there's three different types of shields, but the only difference between like, you know, the six is... Okay, there's, there's four types of shields, my bad. Um, there's this type, there's this type, there's this type, and there's this type. Whatever. Um, but you want to buy the cheap one, which is the RX-78 shield. You just buy, uh, say three of them. That's, that's what I usually go with. Uh, one equipped on the character, or on the mobile suit, and then two in the container. Um, click beam spray gun for first slot. I don't know. I, like, I, prefer, I prefer my beam weapons in the first slot, and then my machine gun or something in the second lot, but yeah. 
See, this is why we only bought two weapons, though. It only has two manipulator slots, which is... The manipulators are the hands, but, you know, you can't do wield and stuff. That don't matter. Um... So yeah, after you find that, we'll go over here to the bank. I probably should buy ammo first, but, uh, we'll get the... If you go over to the bank, you have a backpack tab and a container tab. You got toolkits and a container tab, because that's... Everybody starts out with 50 level ones, like that. And then you just put them in your container. I think it just drags them in the mobile suit, but, you know, to be safe, you want to do it in a container. Um... And then you want to buy some ammo. So we bought a GM rifle and a beam spray gun. So we want to get beam ammo and machine gun ammo. I know the the rifle, it's not a machine gun. But you'll see that later on. Um, it's like a... It still uses machine gun ammo, so... Whatever. Um... But yeah. So your container should have, you know, the two types of ammo. You got the shield and the toolkits. If you bought a bazooka, you want to get bazooka cartridges. If you bought some kind of... I don't think you can buy it. Can you buy it? Yeah, the... Say, if you had enough money and you bought one of these 80 mil... 180 millimeter cannons, you would buy cannon ammo instead of bazooka ammo or whatever. But yeah, um... So... Yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, another helpful tip before I leave you is um, if you're if you're gonna log out or if you're gonna go AFK and not be around the game, um, please, please, please put the mobile suit in the hangar. Um, I've had several times where I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go get a drink, come back two seconds later, like you know, 35 seconds or something later, and mobile suit's dead because you know the opposing faction came and raided. But you know, just be careful, especially when starting out. You do not want to lose your mobile suit very early because you will it, it, it cripples you because you don't have enough money to buy a new one unless you know like some player or something that's nice enough to give you money. Or you can do this little thing where you just make a new account, sell all the stuff on it, and then just give your first character the money. But I mean, yeah, I mean we'll go over that later. But yeah, this is a. Uh... This is pretty much how you get started. The next uh, tutorial we'll do combat and stuff like that, and then I'll eventually probably just do more and more each time. But, yep. Yeah. I'll uh, see you guys later.